Welcome, pool guys and gals, to the Let's Talk About Pools podcast, where your host, Lauren Broom, will take a splash into many topics in the pool industry to educate all aquatic professionals. Listen in, and you just might be surprised what you'll learn. So let's jump right in. Welcome, everybody. Today to the Let's Talk About Pools podcast, and on this special roundtable episode, I have a lot of guest speakers on. This is a special episode 32, Tools of the Modern Pool Professional. I'd like to welcome Kevin Embry from Skimmer, my our big podcast sponsor. We really appreciate your support of the podcast, Skimmer. Matt Lopez with Riptide Pool Vacuum. Joseph Deanna Sr. and Joseph Deanna Jr. from Primate Pool Tools. Thank you as well for being a proud podcast sponsor and continuing education at uh, Primate Pool Tools. And Eric and Janelle Resch with Piranha Pool Products. They've been in the industry a long time. So this is going to be a really good episode to listen to, guys. Learn about all the tools that the modern pool professional right now can utilize to make their lives easier, better, and run your businesses great and professional. So listen in, and I hope you enjoy this episode as much as I did talking to this great group of people. And if you go to one of the trade shows, you'll probably see them there. Look for them and jump right in and enjoy this episode, guys. And I also want to say thank you to today's sponsors. Skimmer and Primate Pool Tools. Thank you as always. Enjoy the episode, guys. This is Skimmer, software for the modern pool professional. What can you do with Skimmer? See all your customers on a map, build service routes quickly, and let Skimmer optimize them for you. Access customer information, including contact details and full service history anytime and anywhere. Customize work orders to track jobs like repairs and filter cleanings. Email your customers when you complete a service. You can include service details and on-site photos. Does your customer need a part? Add it to the shopping list and track it from purchase to installation. Skimmer will even remind you what parts you need for the day, and you can mark them as installed right when you're finished. Skimmer doesn't just store your service history. It helps you get paid. We integrate with QuickBooks Online for fast, easy invoicing. And we've got more billing options coming soon. All that's just the beginning. Go to GetSkimmer.com to watch our demo video, check out our online tutorials, and see if Skimmer is right for you. Welcome, everybody. Today, it's the Let's Talk About Pools podcast. I have a really special episode today. I'm really excited about recording this one with this group of people. Um, We're going to be talking about the tools of the modern pool professional. I'm really excited. It's going to be a really great episode for our listeners out there. So hopefully you guys will learn something really awesome from this group of people. This is a really great group of people we have together here for the pool industry. And I want to go ahead and we're going to do introductions first. So our uh, listeners know who is on our episode today. I'm Joe Deanna Sr. with Primate Pool Tools. I'm Joe Deanna Jr. with Primate Pool Tools. Known as the Joes, right? You said? Yeah. The Joes from Primate. (laughs) (laughs) And our next person on our group is Kevin. Yeah, I'm Kevin. I run marketing at Skimmer. Uh, It's pool service software. We'll talk about that a little more, but glad to be here. Thanks for having us. Awesome. Thank you for everybody being here. Our next person that's going to introduce himself is Matt with Riptide. Matt Lopez with uh, Riptide Pool Vacuums. I'm one of the owners here. Happy to be back on the show again, Lauren. Yes, I just got your your one episode I've already released. So listeners can listen into that and the Primate Pool Tools and the Skimmer uh, podcast episode have all been released. So awesome. Awesome to have you guys back and return on the podcast show. And then we have Eric and Janelle with Piranha Pool Products. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about you. I'm, I'm Eric Resch, uh, founder of Piranha Pool Products. And of course, I'm with my wife, Janelle. Yeah. And- awesome. And, and we <laughs> and we're gonna have you guys on your own episode. We're we're gonna get get you on here, and we're gonna talk in detail about Piranha Pool products at that time. All it'll be all you guys. Awesome! Thank you, thank you for being on the show today. 
So the, the whole idea with this episode is we, we're talking about this mindset, right? Of uh, mar- all you marketing together and this, I've seen it at the shows, the, the pool, the tools of the modern pool professional. It's really exciting to kind of take different puzzle pieces in the industry that are different products and kind of show how they can kind of fit together or work together in different ways in the industry. And I love that energy in the industry because I really think that if we put things together in the industry and work together instead of working against each other, it would make our industry move up and be really awesome. And so this is kind of that example and that mindset that we want everybody to kind of see out there um, where, where you guys are already doing that together at trade shows and just in just together, you know, on social media and that kind of thing. So that overlap that you guys kind of share, you're not all exactly the same thing, but you have that overlap and that kind of thing. So um, I just want to kind of let's talk about that mindset a little bit that you guys have been working together on. And I'm going to go ahead and and ask uh, the, the Joes from Primate, what do you feel about the, that whole mindset and everything? Oh, well, it's been fantastic for us. I mean, first of all, just to let everybody know, we, you know, we've made, we have friendships in, in addition to, you know, business association, um, Dave and Matt and uh, have been Great mentors and Janelle has, you know, been very kind to us and as far as mentoring us, you know, on the phone and so forth and communicating and Kevin, I can't say enough about Kevin. Kevin's like the maestro, you know, to get of getting us together and, you know, kind of conducting our products out into the, the pool industry. Um, so, you know, that's that's a great thing to have a a camaraderie like that with, you know, other industry professionals that are selling products, you know, uh, even if, you know, with all competition and so forth out there. So, and, and then of course the, you know, the the percept, the, the perception of our products. And I know personally how hard, every one of these other manufacturers have worked to perfect their, their products. You know, I, I would hope that pool pros could appreciate how much work goes into that, you know, so we all work very hard uh, to get our product where we wanted it. And, 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 and that in turn, you know, makes it, that gives it all the characteristics and value for all the pool pros out there. And uh, I was just reflecting, you know, how the challenges that are happening right now in the pool industry, because I'm a 32 year professional and we continue to run our commercial pool maintenance company. So on the, on the the big view of it, um, there's a lot of challenges for pool professionals out there and, you know, they really need to sharpen their skills as you say improve the you know industry raise your products uh but what it comes down to and then when it comes to actually doing your job you need the tools of a modern pool professional to you know your first responsibility is to make your company operate more efficiently and and profitably and so now that's where our, all of our tools come in, I think, and and it, it's exciting to get the reaction that we've got for you know we're getting great reaction, you know, from our our customers and so forth. So it's it's just a great thing that uh, Kevin has brought together, and you know we're looking forward. To, it's very positive, you know, for us, kind of the new kids on the block. <laughs> probably compared to you guys, the other manufacturers here. And it's been, you know, just, we're just, we're grateful for the, the goodwill and the, you know, mentorship of the others in that group. Yeah. It, it's, it's wonderful to see. It's almost like we're a little family in this uh, panel right now. I, that's what I'm getting from you guys, the feel at least. And that's nice. The camaraderie and the, friendships are an important part too out of this. I think that 
people don't often think about. You can think about the business side and yeah, it helps to kind of work together, but at the same time, you're forging those friendships behind the, the scenes as well. So that's, that's awesome. Thank you, uh, the Joes from Primate. Joseph has anything else no. no, good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going <laughs> to... You just, gonna, took, you just entire, took up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pose the same question for Kevin about the whole mindset that we're kind of talking about in this episode. Yeah, it's really exciting. You know, I'm, I'm the new person in the group. I uh, joined Skimmer about a year and a half ago. Um, and uh, my experience is I, I worked for eBay a long time ago, back in the day. And, uh, and I worked for another, uh, you know, we call SaaS platform company uh, called uh, VRBO, Verbo. Uh, it was called HomeAway when I worked there, but now they call it uh, VRBO. So I'm really a technology type guy, but I, I've always had a problem. I always care about what I work for who I work for and what we do. You know, I learned a really important lesson um, when I worked for eBay. Um, or, um, so when I worked for eBay, I thought, oh, we're just, we just have an auction site, right? And uh, people buy and sell things. And then we had a user conference and we went to that first user conference ever in the history of the company. And um, I was walking around, I had my eBay staff shirt on and some, a woman walked up to me and hugged me. She didn't even introduce herself. She just hugged me and she hugged me a little bit longer than normal hug of someone you don't know. And then she pulled away from me and she looked me in the eyes and she said, you changed my life. You just don't work at a technology company. You changed my life, my kid's life and their kid's life. Let me tell you why. And she started to describe, you know, I have a high school education, but on eBay, no one knows that. No one can judge me for that. As long as I sell things and I deliver them in a very professional way, I can do anything I wanted it. And she was one of our, our most successful sellers on eBay. And I thought when I left that conference, I thought, wow, that is not, you know, it's, this isn't just technology. This isn't just fun and games of buying and selling. It is changing people's lives. And when you look at things like that, um, you can get really excited about what you do. Well, when uh, Pete Freeland and Jack Nelson approached me about a year and a half ago and said, hey, we're looking at this pool service software company, I thought, why? <laughs> what, what's pool service software? Why would you get involved in the pool service uh, industry? And he said, just take a look at it. It's actually pretty interesting. And so when I dug into it, uh, after about a week, I was really excited about it. And uh, so the first thing I did was listen to all the podcasts. And so I heard Eric and Janelle from Piranha, and I heard the Joes at Primate and Dave and Matt at Riptide across all these different podcasts. Uh, but one thing really resonated with me was they sounded like real, authentic people. And I thought, is this, is this the way this is? This can't be right. You know, they, these guys are innovators, right? They're building really tools. And, um, you know, I just listened to more and more of the podcast. And what I realized is everyone was on the podcast. It's really hardworking, amazing people. And over the last nine months, I've been traveling the Sun Belt and visiting these our customers and going out on their routes and working them with them. And they're all the same. They're amazing, hardworking, incredible. But what the other thing I noticed was at the end of the day, I was completely exhausted and had no energy at all to think about if I was running that company, like I would no way be able to think about the strategy and all the, the overhead, you know, the administrative things. I just wanted to take a nap. Right. <laughs> and, um, and then the other thing I realized is an aluminum pole gets really heavy at the end of the day. And if you have a crappy net, your life sucks. After about that sixth pool, you're like, what am I doing with my life? Right. And so I started, you know, as, as I, I listened to all these podcasts, I'm like, you ever heard of a carbon fiber pole? Um, you know, cause I'm like, it's feeling twice as heavy at the, at the, at the end of the day. Um, and you know, if I went out with someone, they didn't have a piranha net, you know, I'd say, have you ever heard of piranha nets? And they're like, yeah, I've heard of it, but I don't know if they're that much better. I'm like, yeah, they're a lot better. I work them all the time with other customers. It's not a little better. It's a lot better. And then you'd get in, uh, I'd go out with a customer and they'd be using the customer's vacuum. You know, they just attach it to the aluminum pole and whatever the customer's vacuum was. I was like, you've heard of Riptide, right? Because this is ridiculous. You're wasting your time. And I'd already built rapport with them. So 
And they were like, yeah, but is it that much better? And I would say, yeah, it's 10 times better. All of those tools are 10 times better. And I found myself not just you know, engaging the customer on how they use Skimmer and how they use the Skimmer app, but trying to help them understand, hey, th- we do the same thing that all these other tools do. We give you lift. We save you energy. We make you more efficient. We make you more productive, which ultimately will make you more profitable. And uh, that last one they listen to. Um, you know, they're willing to waste their energy and because they don't think of it that way because they're just using the tools they're used to. And so when we thought of the tools of modern pool professionals, when I ran into the Joes and I ran into Dave and Matt, and I haven't run into Eric and Janelle yet at the trade shows, um, but I'm looking forward to it. But when I ran into this group or I listened to them on podcasts or I talked to Janelle on the phone, they all say the same things. And um, it really came out of, I wanted to make my life better. I wanted to have better tools that I was using running a pool service business. And that's what we're trying to accomplish with this group is we're not just trying to sell our tools. We're trying to sell a better life. We're trying to sell a better business. We're trying to sell a more profitable future for our customers. And uh, when we say that, when you say you build a better net, okay, that's cool. When you say you better a better vacuum, when you build a better carbon fiber pole, whatever. But when you tell them, I'm going to give you a better life, the opportunity to have a better life and a better business and make more money, um, they start to listen. And so when we get together and we really, that message really comes together across different channels, you can change those people's lives. You can really get the message out a lot stronger and, uh, that's what I learned at eBay is uh, when you really know what the ultimate outcome is, is to really help someone see something. They, they, like when I meet with someone and say, well, you know, I'm just a one polar. And I'm like, you know, a skimmer, you could have uh, several techs. Yeah, I don't think I can manage some techs. Right. And then I check and then I try to convince them you can. And, uh, and I show them uh, how, how they can do it. And then I call them back, you know, four months later. And they're like, I have two techs now, Kevin. You're right. It's simple. I can manage these guys with Skimmer, right? And that's the same with all of our tools is you can do so much more and uh, accomplish so much more in a day and even manage more people in your business when you're using the right tools. Uh, and so that's what I love about all of these people. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm the new, well, I'm definitely the new person in the group. <clears throat> Eric and Janelle have been in this business for or over 20 years. I mean, how many years? 25 years. So, you know, I kind of see them as the, when I think of a net, it, you know, when you see other tools, you go, you know, there's a better tool. When I see someone using a different net than Piranha, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> right. And they're like, well, I've heard about Piranha. I'm like, you know, you're you're <laughs> you need to order one. This is crazy. I'm going to send you one. <clears throat> and so, uh, and uh, so I, I do that with a lot of uh, uh, our tools. I haven't done that with Piranha yet. Janelle and I are getting together on that, but I do that with Primate and I do that with Riptide. We give those away to our customers uh, that aren't using them or I introduce them to them. And uh, they usually end up calling those guys back and ordering more. Um, you know, it's just like everything in life. Once you try it, you realize, wow, you know, something is you know, like a pole is half the weight, 10 times the strength, right? Uh, a Riptide vacuum, 10 times stronger and more powerful and easier to use than other brands out there, right? And then the Piranha Net is really the no-brainer in the industry. It is the best net in the industry, hands down. But when you put them all together, you don't get a little bit more lift, you get exponential lift, right? And that's what we're trying to say is, yeah, Piranha Net's you, you got to use a piranha net, right? Carbon fiber pole from Primate, amazing. Save you energy, right? Riptide, skimmer. But when you use them all together, it's exponential to your business. Yeah. Uh, and so that's what we're trying to get across. And, and I'm excited to be here. I'm very proud to be with this group. I, I see you guys as celebrities because I've watched you and listened to you on podcasts. And I've, I've, I've had the pleasure of meeting several of them and others at trade shows. And uh, it's... Um, I actually have a a very strong passion for not only the business and this industry now, but also for the people and our customers. Uh, We have over 3,200 customers now using Skimmer, uh, which is almost 14,000 pool professionals using our app every day. Um, But what really gets the job done are these guys, uh, these other tools, right? Physical physical part. Work done with Skimmer recording it, right? And making sure they bill for everything that they do. Um, and that's the exciting part. 
uh, and uh, I'm honored to be here. And thanks for having us, Lauren. And uh, I really appreciate you getting us together because I think when people start to really think about these brands, um, they'll they'll really see that we are true innovators and we continue to innovate the products. They don't they do not stay the same. That's one thing you know. I don't I won't take anybody's uh, thunder away. But one thing when I met Dave and Matt at Riptide. They started explaining the Riptide to me and they said, well, what we noticed a few years in is that this didn't really work right. So we changed them all. So we changed that and we re redesigned it. And I thought, yeah, well, that's what you do. And then Dave said, and then we had several hundred in the warehouse and we changed those out as well. We were never going to send out another Riptide with that part. And I thought that's different. Most companies don't do that. They'll sell out their inventory, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, but he was like, no, I said, why do you do that? Why don't you just sell out your inventory and send out the new ones when the, when you get the new ones. And Dave and Matt said, because Kevin is sitting on the back of a truck and that's our marketing, that's our advertising. And when someone walks up to it and touches it and looks at it and asks a question, I want it to be the best version of the Riptide. That's not normal. Right. And all of these guys are like that. The Joes at Primate and Eric and Janelle, they're all like that, is they want to send out the best product possible at all times. And, uh, you know, you walk around, if you go to enough trade shows, you realize that's not, that, that's not happening across a lot of companies. And so we're really proud at Skimmer to be associated with this group. And we're honored that they are part of this co-marketing group, because I, th I think the message, really getting our message out to the audience, the pool and spa, pool service and repair audience is uh, is really important and we're really starting to get a huge amount of momentum but we've only just begun so we're really excited and it's been so fun hearing what you had to say kevin and then what the joes at primate said it's like i've gotten this overall picture of they think of it as like family friendships here that have been forged uh, while working together in the business and then the whole business model of making things the best that they can be, um, like you said, about the riptide and their inventory. So all of that is like so awesome to hear so far. And then he literally wants to run into you guys at the pool show, Piranha. You got to watch out for Kevin. He's going to run into you at the pool show. Sorry, had to make a, had to make a joke there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will find them. I, I, I love these guys. You know, I, I'm going to reiterate, reiterate one thing that Joe senior said is uh, it really does start to feel like a family. Like when I see the riptide, I haven't seen the rushes at any shows yet because they're so popular. They don't even have to go to the shows anymore. I mean, that's all <laughs> right. It's, it's like oh, we, we walk people. around and everyone's like, does this work with the piranha net? And we're like, yeah, yeah, it works with piranha. It's like, they're the standard. And <clears throat> so they don't, even, they're celebrities now. They don't even show up at the show. <laughs> uh, but I, I look forward to see them at the next one. But we are, we are uh, kind of, we are definitely becoming like a family because when I meet them, you know, when your mindset's the same, when you're thinking about, you know, we're providing the best possible product we can and then really changing people's businesses or helping them change their business, um, you get along, right? I mean, when you think the same way, when Absolutely. You meet people you feel like, feel like we've been friends for years, right? Mm -hmm. And what it is, is we have the mi same mindset as well. All of us on this podcast is we, we truly do want to help people because at the end of the day, we know that drives our business. Right. And I think we all so, collectively, oh, go sorry. Ahead, no, collectively go ahead. think that we all really care about our customer, mm -hmm. whether it's the, you know, uh, distributor or the end user. We really care. I, I know I, I can I can feel that when I talk to each of you is that that's the bottom line for us is we care about the customer. And, and I've gotten that just from knowing a lot of you and interviewing you guys and that kind of thing is what I get with the feel of this group is what Kevin was already saying is you care about the customers, you care about making innovations and in your products to make it better for your customers to do their jobs better, do it easier, make more money, because ultimately that's what matters as well. I love the ergonomic part, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> that's that you can't take the OSHA trainer out of me. So ergonomics is that big word of lifting things properly or what you're doing all day. 
And so you're thinking about the professional that's using the tool and making it better for them in such a way that it's going to be better at the end of the day when they go home to their families as well. Or, I mean, route management makes it easier, the vacuum, the innovation with the getting it off on and off the vehicle, the, the pole being lighter, your piranha net working better and lasting longer um, with a pole like primate pool, pool tools pole, you know, all of that works together to make it better for people. And I think that's what this group is all about is making it better for the cus- their customers, but all- but really your customers, which are the pool professionals that will be listening to the podcast. So that's really what we wanted to h- highlight here. And that's it's awesome to have this great group of people here that are really passionate about that. And, and that's kind of why I really wanted to do this podcast episode, because that's really my premise behind the podcast as well, is I do education and I really care about educating everybody out there to keep their pools healthy and safe. And then now I'm also pushing that whole training for the professional workplace health and safety for the person who's cleaning the pool. You guys matter in the industry, not just the people that swim in the pool. So I have that same passion as you guys. So when I think of my podcast, people ask about, let's talk about pools and so in its own way, it's an extension of education to the pool professional. And so having groups of people like you on here, um, because you're the specialist that I'm going to, I'm talking to that works with these people in different ways with different products. And we really want to highlight this for the listeners to make sure that they understand that you're not just some company trying to sell them something that you guys are the companies out there that actually are caring about their customers and, and the product you're selling them. Because yes, I, I was thinking the same thing when Rip, Riptide could have just left that inventory there. And that's a very different premise than a lot of companies where, no, we're going to fix all of it because we made this innovation. It makes it better and it's going to cost us more money to fix everything in the inventory. And I'm sure you've all done your fair share of modifying things and and doing that with each of the products here. It's just Kevin brought up that one example that was just recent. So, and you guys can throw in any examples too, but I, I just love having this group here. Sorry, I took over a little bit more than I wanted to, and I'll cut that part out. <laughs> oh, no at all. Hey, well, I'll, cu- I'll cut part of it out. <laughs> Sorry for the quick intermission today, but I wanted to say thank you to our other awesome podcast sponsor, Primate Pool Tools, and continuing education through the podcast today. Primate poles are made in the USA and built from aerospace grade carbon fiber, which offers superior strength and performance. They have options for any level of pool maintenance with multiple models to choose from, as well as an extension system that can extend the reach of any pool pole up to 40 feet. Grab yours today and cut through the water with ease. Please visit primatepooltools.net for more info about their products. And use the promo code Let's Talk Pools for twenty dollars off your order at checkout. So check them out, guys, and enjoy the rest of this podcast episode. Lauren, one thing I wanted to say that I I noticed, just sort of being an outsider to the industry, is the aesthetic of these products, how they look, not just the quality and how how they help you do your business better and your job better, but they're they're beautiful. You they're look amazing. more professional. Yeah. You have a I mean, riptide on the back of your truck and you've got your piranha nets, which don't look like, you know, the cheesy brushes or the cheesy leaf rakes that you see. And you have a primate pool, you know, you look better. And I tell people this is like if you hire somebody to work on your house and they show up and their tools is a rock with a, you know, with a <laughs> stick wrapped around a, an end of a stick and that's their hammer you're not really inspiring confidence to your customer that you're going to do a good job. But if you show up and your tools look good, you're inspiring that confidence because you've invested in yourself and that's going to resonate with your customers. They notice these things. They see these things because they're going to go out and they're going to see, well, it's a carbon fiber pull. Everybody knows what carbon fiber is. They know it's not cheap or your nets, the piranha nets look much better, uh, 
than a net you could buy at, you know, Home Depot. Uh, Riptide, of course, you know, no, homeowners aren't buying that. Um, you just look much more professional when you, when you roll into your customer's backyard with the proper tools. To- totally agree with that. I mean, that professional ability that it looks, you know, it's the tools, it's the education, it's the technology that they're going to use to be able to communicate with their customers better. It's all these things. And, you know, I think about it like when I have my air conditioner fits and I have the company that comes in where the guy leans over and he has his shirt up and his butt crack show. And I'm like, okay, you know, he's not looking professional here and I'll probably cut that part out. But, <laughs> I would leave it. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's what you look like. It's the tools you carry, how you carry them, what you're using, all of this. And it, it, if we want to look as a profession, and this is the listeners listening, we really want the pool industry to be professionalized and be professional like any other trade out there, like electricians and plumbers. And so it's not just the education side or apprenticeships and all that other stuff that we're hearing and seeing more, but it's also how they make themselves appear out when they're out and about. You know, you got to look professional. It's what you're wearing, how you carry yourself, how you talk to people, what you're using, all that matters. And I think that, I think that's a good conversation with part of this. You know, and I left, I left skimmer off of the end of that looking professional part, because, you know, now you show up in the backyard, you've got your, your piranha nets, you've got your riptide, you got your primate pole, and then you're taking a picture of the pool when you leave and their customers getting an email from skimmer and boom you're way more professional than 95 percent of the other pool guys in your area right i mean what would you prefer i used to see business cards stuck in uh skimmer baskets sticking up Mm -hmm. with the chemical readings on it now you look professional where you can send this email with all their test results and what you did and everything so i mean the software isn't like directly seen but it's seen by the customer at the end and they always i worked in grocery store for four years the first person they see and the last person they see is kind of what the customer does remember sometimes you know you meet you go to the meat department and all the departments in the middle and you kind of forget if that person was rude to you, but the, the, that cashier checking you out and, and bagging your groceries and taking the groceries out, that's the last person they see and you represent your company. So you, it's a great conversation. That could be almost be another podcast episode. So getting back, I'm going to roll us back here, it, back into that mindset question, because I, Matt, with a uh, riptide, I wanted you to kind of answer that on your end with where it comes to riptide with the whole mindset and you guys working together, the yeah, pool, so, modern pool professionals. Uh, so, you know, I, when Kevin approached me with the idea, I was very excited. Um, and originally it was just us skimmer and uh, primate. And, you know, I really liked the Joes. I really liked Kevin. I really felt that we're all like-minded companies that, you know, we have a product every, all of us have a product, but we're customer service oriented first. Uh, If we, if you have a problem, I know that the Joe's will take care of you. I've heard it from um, other customers that use piranha nets and brushes. You know, everybody here is for the customer, for the industry. Uh, and, uh, and that's something that is core to my belief. Uh, you know, when we started the company in 2016 or 17, I don't remember time flies. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to have one of these companies where you just hated to deal with that company because I personally hate it. You know, anytime that you, I buy something and it breaks and you have to go through that experience of dealing with it. I just rather throw it away because it's just not worth the headache or the hassle. And that seems where the world's going with everything, unfortunately. Uh, So it's great to see companies like Piranha and Primate and Skimmer too, that all stand behind their products because that's really, you know, what it's about. You're buying, you know, 
a, a pool guy coming into the industry, you know, if a guy's coming in in his early 20s or whatever, he could be a customer of yours for the next 40 years, potentially, and really grow his business with your business. So you have to take care of these guys. Um, one, because it's the right thing to do. But two, I, I mean, it just feels good. It feels good when you take care of your customers. Um, so it's great to work you know, with, with all these companies and two, they all create efficiencies. Riptide, of course, you know, creates efficiencies. We did a whole episode on that. We don't have to talk about that. Um, Primate does too. I mean, you're holding a pole all day long. You're skimming the nets. Everybody hates skimming, right? Nobody enjoys skimming a pool, uh, but you don't want to hold an aluminum pole all day. You want something lightweight, you know, the brushes yeah, I, and then I didn't nets. want to interrupt for a minute. Yeah. I actually do enjoy skimming a pool. When I had four toddlers <laughs> and two dogs and everything was going crazy in my house, skimming a pool like maybe saved my life. It was my meditation. <laughs> it's your little zen zone. Now, that said, I had a really, I had an aluminum pole and probably the worst net you can imagine. So I, I would have had a much better experience. If someone would have walked into my backyard when I had those four toddlers and with a piranha net and a carbon fiber pole from Primate, I would have said, where do I get those? I, I need that. <laughs> so. Well, I could imagine uh, skimming with getting away to skim the pool from four toddlers. Oh, it's amazing. That four <laughs> toddlers at once. Wow. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's a tough one. I, I think I might want to escape to skim the pool too, Kevin. Well, when my pool guy would come into the backyard, I would say, Hey, don't skim the pool. I, I do that. He's like, he'd look at me funny. And I was like, no, it's, it's, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the name of your company. Is just- <laughs> it keeps me sane. <laughs> <laughs> so I, we've got Eric and Janelle Resch uh, with Piranha Pool Products. And I'm going to let you guys are going to answer the same question. And you're my last one on the panel to answer this question on that whole mindset of marketing together and the tools of the modern pool professionals. So tell us what it means to you and what it means to be working with these great companies here. Well, we set out, we set out to make better tools and make better products just like uh, everyone else on this panel. And um, I think that's probably something that we have most in common, obviously all in the pool industry and all care about our customers, but I, I think really we all want to improve the industry. Um, and, uh, and there's a sincere desire to do it, you know, not just here to sell product to people and try and make money, but actually to make the industry better and, and, and really um, kind of have the pride that, uh, that we're putting something out there that other people would like. Um, I hear nothing but compliments about the other uh, manufacturers here on the panel tonight <clears throat> or today. And um, that's kind of the way it should be, that we're all really putting out something that we believe in. Um, I can, and Janelle, and I can certainly identify with uh, Matt and Dave. Uh, we've halted production and uh, faced the fact that maybe a thousand or so items that we created and we have in inventory are never going to go to the market because we didn't like the, the, the final way that they came out. Maybe it had a flaw, maybe it had something we didn't think about or didn't know about until it was put out in, into the market and people used it. Um, and it's interesting because I feel your pain. Yeah, it, it hurts, <laughs> but, but I, I, I know exactly where you're at on that though, Matt, I don't, and Janelle, we don't, and you too, and, and none of us, we don't want to put things out there that now are going to cause problems for people and frustrate them. Uh, but we know the other side of the industry as well. What's it like to be out there and have a product fail? It's so frustrating. Yeah, we, um, came, we came out of the service side back from yeah. the late 80s and the 90s. And um, that was, you know, where he wanted to become innovative with the tools because there really wasn't anything innovative out there at that time. So, you know, mm-hmm. that's how we set out on this. But mm-hmm. anyway, I'm sorry I interrupted you. Well, it's okay. <laughs> uh, the, uh, I'll let you slide back. Okay. So, uh, but in the meantime, uh, in the meantime, though, I think that's our goal. We want to make things better. And so um, if I see a flaw in my own product, um, I have to come into the industry just like all of us and meet people at trade shows. And I have to be able to say, you know what, I, I, I'm doing my absolute best um, that if I, if I hear there's a problem, 
that, and I'm and I realize that maybe other people are having a problem with one of our products. I've got to stop everything and make sure it gets fixed because um, because people are relying on us to produce the best products that we can make um, because these are this is how we make our living with tools, uh, even even with the uh, skimmer app. This is how we all support ourselves. So it has to be the best that we possibly can put out there. And I think that's kind of maybe like the one of the overall themes of, of, of this podcast that we're really trying to trying to advance the industry so we can all do better at it. And I have to make a comment too. We've been in this industry since uh, 80, 80, 88. Yeah, 88. And uh, it's full of very down to earth, honest people. And um, that's one of the things that I love about it too. And and in that sense, and it um, that kind of camaraderie that we have with our customers, that we can have with uh, other friends who are manufacturers, even if we're making competing products, uh, the fact that we can still be friends. Um, and uh, you know, we make polls, and and uh, the Joes make polls. But you know what? We're all doing the same thing. We're trying to make a better industry here, and so we might as well work together and enjoy each other because we're all we're all trying to do the same thing. And we're all innovators. Yeah. So, yes. And, you. <laughs> and just everybody working together instead of against each other. And that's great. I've always had that feeling in most of the industry. There's always that few outliers out there, but the majority of the pool industry, I mean, I don't dread going to the trade shows. You know, I love going to the trade shows. I like this this coming weekend. I'm excited about it. And it's like when I was a kid and it was Christmas time and Christmas would take forever to get here because I love seeing all the people in the trade show. I do. The educational classes are great. I'm excited about that. But I, I get more excited about walking the trade show and seeing faces that I've seen for God, 15 years since I started going to the Orlando, the Orlando show, at least down here. Um, so I know I've seen Matt at some point at uh, the trade show, um, probably two years ago when it was hopping busy over there for you guys at Riptide. Yeah. I was just thinking about that. The show was in February and we're in March today that we're recording this in March of 2022. And that trade show was right before COVID started. So yeah, that was one of the last ones that we did. Yeah. And you, I know you guys weren't at the show last year. So, and, so we're and, excited to be back. Yeah, the excitement of seeing and having all of you at a trade show together with this kind of premise of you're all different and different products, but putting it together uh, as the tools of the modern pool professional is just awesome, you know, and, and I think we have great energy here and at the trade shows. And I think the industry is really going to eat it up after the last two years that we've had. You know, I really think they're going to enjoy hearing you guys and really hearing um, how you guys are working together. You've worked through the last two years to get where you're at, to continue to make their essential service that it was during COVID to be uh, the best that it can be with the tools that you all provide to the pool professional. So um, my last question that we'll go around with is um, so. The Joes with Primate Pool Tools. Uh, how do you feel that your tool has uh, changed people's lives? Sure, yeah. I mean, we get <laughs> feedback uh, all the time. That's actually the best part about getting out there at the trade shows, just hearing it firsthand from users, whether it's you know a year in or a few years in. But I think the biggest difference people feel is performance right away. And uh, a lot of the benefits, you know, we weren't even expecting really um, that people have told us, uh, you know, the first thing we usually hear is, wow, it's half a weight. This is crazy. I can't believe this is as strong as it is at the weight. You know, the strength to weight ratio is like jarring. But uh, what, what I hear a lot and what makes me feel the best is people that had elbow injuries and like they have you know, all a number of problems from being out there and doing the laborious job that comes with pool service. And, you know, you get all kinds of battle scars and things along the way. And, you know, we have hurt shoulders, you know, people have had thumb surgeries or, or th things that they can feel at the end of the day after working out there for eight to 10 hours. And a lot of those guys say, I don't feel worn and I can 
legitimately feel less wear and tear at the end of the day. So I think that's the biggest thing uh, that I try and tell people uh, when they ask, you know, why is this worth it? Like, what's the value? And I think less wear and tear on the worker is just something you need to prioritize if you're going to be, you know, a lifetime pool guy and it's a great career to be in. You can make a lot of money, but you know, the reality is it's really hard on your body and, you know, whatever you can reach for to make your job easier there, I think is well worth the investment. Totally agree. This this morning we were talking about, um, well, it's, you know, it's a never ending journey, you know, uh, marketing, um, you know, new people are finding out about your product all the time and you you think you've got your bases covered, but there's always new territory. Um, So we're hearing, you know, I'm hearing every day on the phone, you know, very new users, they're excited, you know, and game changer, all kinds of, you know, good positive feedback, compliments. And, And the other part for us is we, we used our product in our company for two years before we let it out because, you know, I'm, I'm a pool pro. I'm not going to, you know, let it something out there that it's not going to stand up. You know, it's just a, a matter of principle and pride or whatever. But so the people that are, you know, calling back in after three years or whatever and saying, you, 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 how long have you had your pool? Oh, three years. Yeah. I've had the pool for, well, for three years, I go great, you know. So we're so we have we know there's longevity there, and um, and it's just uh, kind of going back with what we were talking about earlier is the appearance of having you know good tools, and you know, it from the I can confirm what Matt was saying earlier is that we we started to get that kind of feedback real early in that people, the pool professional feels, you know, you feel better when you use better tools. And, uh, mm-hmm. and then, you know, talking about what, what Kevin was talking, <laughs> what brought up is really significant is how worn out, you know, you could be at the end of the day and having, uh, you know, all these things play in, especially, you know, skimmer, we're using skimmer in our, our company. And, um, you know, that is the, you know, that's a, a really tough thing for a pool pro to go home after the end of the day, you're wiped out and then you've got to do these, you know, you got to do work orders. You've right. got to, you've got to do your financials. So, I mean, we, so just, you know, to answer the question, the positive, just that positive feedback is, you know, so gratifying and, um, uh, I think we all have that in common, you know, we're. That's awesome. That's the answer. (laughs) Yeah. How do you feel, Kevin, that skimmer uh, has changed people's lives? Well, I know how it has because they tell us constantly. Uh, Like I said, I've been traveling the country for nine (laughs) months visiting with them. And, uh, you know, I send out an email to people in an area that I'm going to go to and say, hey, do you want to have breakfast, lunch or dinner? Or you just have time for coffee. If you have time for two minutes, I'd love to meet you and just find out how what you like about Skimmer and how we can make it better. And I get overwhelmed with the responses and uh, people want to meet me all, all, all over and take a picture with the Skimmer mobile. But what they tell me is, is that it's been a game changer, not only for their business, but for their life. If I, I usually meet the most successful, so listen up out there, if you're uh, married and you have a partner who's not involved in your business, the most successful pool service um, and repair companies that I run into and I meet uh, is usually a husband and a wife. And um, the wife's running the back end of the business and managing all the numbers and uh, making sure everything, the operations are running smooth. And uh, the husband is usually part of the business and managing uh, the techs and everything that's happening out in the field, usually, not always. But what I find is, is that uh, uh, the wife will usually say, hey, thank you for giving my husband back. Mm-hmm. And at first that would take me back. I would go, what do you mean? She's like, oh, I never saw him before we started using Skimmer. <laughs> like, what? She's like, oh yeah. As soon as he got home, he'd take a nap, he'd get up, we'd have dinner and then he'd be off planning his routes for the next day, making sure we were billing for everything that he and his team were doing. And I thought, 
wow, I never really thought about that, right? And not just the work you're doing all day, which can be backbreaking and really wear you out, but you still have work to do when you're using paper, when you're using, you're using route sheets, right? And you've got to make sure they're all done for the next day and that you get them to your team, right? If you're at the end of you're servicing someone's pool, you're filling out a door hanger, a paper door hanger, right? You put a door hanger on my door when I had four kids and two dogs, that, that was not going to be there. Within a few minutes, <laughs> with a few moments after you dr- left our driveway, that became a toy, probably a paper airplane. Um, I mean, people would come to my door all the time and go, hey, are you going to pay me? And I'm like, you haven't sent me an invoice. Like I put it on your door. I'm like, are you serious? Have you seen this house? It's great. <laughs> No, you need to knock on the door and give it to me. But this is what they deal with, right? I mean, they, if we, even when you do the work and you remember to give the customer an invoice, a physical invoice, they're not going to pay it because you're sticking it on the doorknob. That's old school. And that's the way the industry used to work. And some people, a lot of people still do. And that's what makes Skimmer different is it, it enables you to put everything into the app, make sure that you're doing everything or that your techs are doing everything you want them to do to service that customer in a very professional way. But once you do that and you put those readings, readings and dosages in the skimmer, it ensures that you bill for that. It does, you don't have to remember at the end of the day when you're exhausted. You don't have to go, okay, what did I do today? What parts did I install? What, what do I need to purchase for the next day, for the next week? You've already put it into skimmer. It knows, right? You just get up the next morning. It tells your techs what to do and it tells you what you need to do. Right. And then if someone on the, the back end in the back office is looking at, they can see everything that's happening. They can see as people are finishing their routes or as they complete the routes and they can see everything that needs to be invoiced. Right. And be able to do that through Skimmer. The, the most exciting part, I think, with Skimmer is um, some people think we're a startup because we really just started doing uh, marketing in the last year, really, really up the marketing a lot. But it's been around for six years. Our founder, Ron, actually started talking to his pool, a service professional, and uh, he was like, this paper door hangers, and like, how do you manage your stuff? Like, how do you, there's a lot of logistics. And the guy was like, yeah, I mean, this is how we do it. He's like, hmm. But his pool service guy was like, you know, you're a software guy, like, could you come up with a way to do it? And at first, Ron was like, that's pretty complicated, to do all that. It's not as simple as you think, just to create it, create an app around it. And as Ron thought about it, he realized just how complicated it was and the logistics of thinking about, it's not just about being able to optimize a route. Anyone can do that. But to be able to go to an app and say, hey, Joe Jr. is not feeling well today. The rest of us have to pick up his routes or you know, let's just give his routes to Kevin or let's spread them across. When you can do that in two seconds with the Skimmer app, and just press and hold and say, give that to Kevin, give that to Matt, give that I don't to want it. Bill, give that to Eric. And you're done <laughs> in moments and you're back focused on what you need to do. Imagine trying to do that with a paper route sheets when yeah. someone calls in sick and everyone's already out in the field. Yeah, where were you? Yeah, where were you, Kevin? <laughs> I know, right? That's crazy. I was so excited and, and, to get quick booked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a life changer. And you're just making me want to go buy a pool route right now. So I- <laughs> he, right? He said he has great excitement. So he, he's so, getting you to want to start well, over again. Well, here's the key. I said, you know, a lot of people think of us as a startup. We've been around for six years. Uh, when Ron started getting busy, he asked his brother to join the company and do customer support. You know, something Matt brought up is that's one thing that Ron said, we're going to have, we're going to have outstanding customer support. When somebody calls and somebody emails, we're going to answer them quick. You have to assume that there's someone out in the field that's, and it's urgent and they're at someone's house and they need to get that fixed and get on to the next uh, route stop. Right. And that's the way we like think of every call and every email coming in that it's urgent. Um, the, the last thing, as far as what, what do we really add is, you know, you can go to our website at getskimmer.com and read all the features, right? It's sort of like going to, I love going to Piranha's website uh, and watching the, uh, the videos of Eric talk about all the different nets. He's sitting at a table and he's talking about them. And it reminds me of the Joes and uh, Matt at the trade shows is he doesn't say, yeah, okay, so I got this net and here's what it does. And it's, uh, it holds this amount and that's cool. And then he goes to the next net. 
he talks about those nets like they're his children. And they're like, okay, as you can see, this, you see what <laughs> the nets here? And he starts <laughs> describing it. And it's like, oh, wow. This is actually interesting to watch someone talk about a net. You know, I mean, think about that. You watch someone for 20 minutes talk about their net. <laughs> No one was going to do that. You're going to have to watch those videos. Yeah. If you watch Eric do it, though, he d- you could tell he cares. And that's what I've seen live with a primate polls and what I've seen live with Dave and Matt with Riptide is that's how they talk to people, right? And we do the same thing. We, we, we try to polish the edges and do those things that most people won't do. And they make all the difference. You know, in life, it's not making a net a better net that makes a difference, right? It's the two millimeters of effort you put in afterwards to make it last, to make it stronger, to make it, it's those things that most people don't even notice. And then when I watch Eric's videos, I realize that's, that's a two millimeter company. They're doing two millimeters more than everyone else. And it makes all the difference. It makes it the best net in the industry. It doesn't make it a little better. I think you can say that about all the, the products that represent here, though. Yeah. I think every yes. one of us are trying to do the same thing, really try and just push yeah. it as far as we can. But I, I think for, you know, it's for the betterment of everybody. And it's once yeah. you're intrigued by your product and your, you know, your service, I mean, and you give it your all, that's when you really, really see the stuff come together. So uh, I don't know right. you guys are all doing that. And that's the exciting thing. You know, I'll finish up the exciting thing for skimmer is, you know, when I look at prana nets and all the iterations you've gone through, when I look at primate, same thing, they've iterated that product and riptide. When I hear Dave and Matt talk about, Oh, we've changed all these things. This used to be like this and used to be like that. Uh, You know, we're doing the same thing at skimmer. You know, the other day I ran some stats and uh, to date uh, there's been over 20 million route stops completed in skimmer over 90 million readings and dosages have been entered into skimmer. That's crazy. Right? That's crazy. Isn't that crazy. And over almost 2 million work orders have been completed using skimmer. Right. And so at the end of the day, it's about enabling someone to do, do something they've already done using an app that has an, a beautiful look and ease of use and a simplicity to where they don't even need training. Right. Some of the larger companies that join us, we we've had, uh, several companies join us recently. We, you know, whether you're a one polar and have 10 pools or 15 pools or 50 pools, or whether you're a large service company that has 1500 to 2000 pools a week that you service, we have all those customers. Skimmer just works the same, no matter what size you are. But the, the exciting part is the large companies will say, Hey, well, do you guys provide any training for our techs? And I always say, cause I, I meet with a lot of those companies in person. I'll say, you don't need training. That's how easy it is. That's why so many people use it. We do have over 75 videos on the website that are actually amazing. And we'll actually explain a lot of things about Skimmer, but it's actually pretty self-explanatory to the techs. Once you just give them a five-minute overview of how this works and what you want them to do with it, they don't have to do it in a certain order. They can do it the way you want to do it, right? You can adjust the, you can customize your checklists. You can customize your readings and dosages, everything the way you do it in your business. And that's why it works. We give, you know, I always tell um, everyone in this group, when I go around and meet people, the thing that really hits me, the, there's a word, you know, in marketing, you always look for those phrases that resonate with people, right? Like, what is that phrase when you say, oh, this is the best net ever. Oh, this, this carbon fiber pulls half the weight, 10 times the strength, right? And like, that's the way I think, because I don't know their products as well as they do. Or the Riptide, you know, it's 10 times better as far as suction and, and the, they have these different nets and or bags. Um, to, uh, you know, and they start explaining it to me and I don't really get it, but I do get one thing when I'm out there I'm meeting with customers and working their routes, the word freedom always rings true for every person I meet. They say that word to me during my, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or if I'm out on a route, the word freedom comes up and that freedom is, that is why they're in the business. They want the freedom to set their own hours to determine who they work for and who they do not work for. You know, we go out and sometimes I'll be in the backyard and someone will come out and then we'll leave and we'll drive away. And the guy says, you know, I'm gonna have to fire this, that customer. She just doesn't treat me right. Right. She doesn't treat my text right. I've, I've replaced the text several times and now I do it personally. And now I see she, she just doesn't treat people right. And so um, I'm going to fire that customer. And I thought that's amazing. Right. I mean, you can control 
who you work for, right? And who works for you. And that freedom of not only the freedom to do it the way you want to do it, use the tools you want to use and work for who you want to work for, those people attract the most of the customers. They don't, they can't even get the text today. The labor market is so tight. Um, customers are calling them constantly and they can't even, it's like having a doctor that's not taking any more, you know, patients. It's like, no, we're full right now. Sorry. Right. And everyone's just really in demand. And that's the exciting thing is um, when you make the tools like all of this group does, and uh, I'm really proud of Skimmer. I didn't create Skimmer, but I'm definitely a part of helping Skimmer grow. And I'm very proud to do that because it, I know it does make a difference. And, and the word I would say for Skimmer is similar to what Joe uh, Sr. said, which is the word they use most often is game changer, right? You not only made me more efficient, you make me more productive. You also make me more profitable. And then the last thing they say is you gave me my life back. And uh, that's the coolest part. You know, we're all in business, you know, as Eric said, to make money and support ourselves. But when you do that and people say you're changing my life, uh, you know, I pay you and yeah, I pay you a premium to use your product, but you're changing my life. That makes, you know, when you see Eric talking about the edges of the net and what they did to make sure it didn't wear when you scrape it or, you know, and he's talking through it, that's, that's it, right? That's, that's the difference is. You know why that is, Kevin? Because we put our whole lives into these businesses. I know. Yep. Absolutely. And, and yep. So when there's an improvement, it really does, it really does make a difference. Yeah. Um, yep. And that's the real honor when you, when you say, and I know Joe Jr. mentioned this, uh, and, and you have too, that's the real honor in the whole thing is somebody comes and says, you actually made my life better <laughs> because you fixed a problem or your, my hands don't hurt. Um, uh, or I, I like the feature I heard you talking about in, in another uh, setting uh, where they um, you can you can add somebody to some another text route and now you have the quickest way to hit them all. Um, that that just makes people's lives better because think of how many hours we spend working. That's kind of a central feature of a lot of our lives, you know. Yeah. Um, and so if we can get that kind of feedback, it just makes it all more meaningful for us and makes us. I know all of us want to try harder at what we're doing. Yeah. I have to throw in when you use the word freedom, I was thinking and seeing Mel Gibson from Braveheart going <laughs> freedom. Yeah. And and he's taken and, and to get back to the lunch thing, he's taken me out to lunch at a little mom and pop place here. And it, Wait, I, Mel I, Gibson I, took you out to lunch. No, I went. Oh, okay. That'd be great. <laughs> Don't tell my husband I said that, <laughs> but, uh, but he's taking me out to lunch. And then that whole mentality, like you guys think of your products, like you would take care of your children or they're all your children. And even when I worked as a health, uh, re- health inspector, and I was inspecting public swimming pools, I think that even in that type of position, I'm thinking in the same way as what he was saying, every pool, I had 400 swimming pools in that County. And I thought of them as my children. When I inspected them, I was going to do 120%, not 75% and do the best job I could and also work with the pool professionals to, if I had to close it, how can we get it reopened so it's not as impactful? But I thought of each pool and each spa and hot tub as a child that when I went home, I still thought about them. You know, so I, it wasn't a product, but it was a product of the job that I had to do for 17 years. And so it's the same philosophy that you guys do in your businesses is taking care of your products in that way. Like you would take care of your children means it's going to be a great product to your customers. So that really hit home. And then I, I just had to throw in the Mel Gibson thing. Cause it was funny. Oh, that's a great quote. You know, funny. It's funny. You say that. Um, I met with a customer in Scottsdale and I said, well, when, how many pools do you service a week, a week? And he said, we don't service pools, Kevin. My team loves on pools. And I thought that's strange, right? I didn't say that out loud, but I thought that's a strange way to say that. And he goes, does that sound strange to you? And I said, yeah, it actually does. And he said, well, let me tell you, when you tell a tech to service a pool, they have something in mind, what that means. When you tell them to love on a pool, they have to ask you what that means. And then I tell them how I want my pool service and I want my customer service. He goes, I want that pool when you walk away to be a pool that you're, 
your family, your children, your dog, whatever, you feel like it's safe for them to get in that and that you've done the right thing. And it looks amazing. It's a great marketing that? philosophy, you know, yeah, it's definitely. a great way to even market out to your customers instead of I'm just coming at to service your pool that I, I'm going to be loving your pool. And I think that that's a whole different mindset for the customer. It sounds weird at first, but I think it's something that you can get used to hearing as soon as they know what that means. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I'm going to shift over to Riptide with Matt. Thank you, Kevin. So Matt, how do you feel that Riptide has changed people's lives? Um, I know that we're definitely changing people's lives. Our, our tool is all about, everybody's tool here is all about creating efficiencies, uh, making you know their life easier. I can recall several you know, phone calls where I, I don't really answer the phone as much these days anymore. We we're lucky now we have a, I can focus on other things. We've got a customer support team now. Um, but I can remember personally answering a call, selling somebody a riptide and, and they were, they would tell me like, I've been using a hose and vacuum for 20 or 25 years. Uh, you know, but I'm, I've heard a lot of good things. I'm going to take the plunge. I'm going to try, try your product. And I'm like, okay, that sounds great. And then they would call back like a week or two weeks later, I would recognize the name on the caller ID. I'm like, oh, what, what are they calling for? <laughs> and it was just to thank us, which is crazy that somebody, you know, buys a product from us that's $1,800, but they're calling to thank me that, that I sold them this product uh, because it really changed their life. They want all of that time back that they can't have back anymore. You know, 20 years, that's a lot of time. If you're going from doing, you know, if you're doing 12 pools a day, now you can do, you're capable of doing 24. That's a lot of money you left on the table over 20 years, a lot of money. And you're just, you're never going to get it back. And that's what they want. They want that time back. And that's with everybody's product here, whether, you know, if it's not about time savings, if it's about, you know, you're, you talk a lot about ergonomics, you know, if you're using a primate pole and it's so much lighter, nobody's getting younger. Our bodies are breaking down every day, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> Mine, not so much. Um, but Because <laughs> he's the younger gentleman on the podcast instead of the older, I know. I, the older gentleman. But uh, you're going to feel that, you know, 20 years, that's a lot of wear and tear on your body. And even if it's with our vacuum and just not getting down on the, on your knees to prime a hose, you know, 20 times a day or uh, with the, with the piranha nets, if you're not having to buy new brushes and nets, cause they don't break down every you know month or two, that's also a lot of money that you saved. Um, same thing with, with skimmer running your back end. That's a, uh, that's again, Nobody likes to do that stuff. That's not fun work. Nobody, I, I, maybe there's a few people that are really into their books and managing their company on that level. Um, but it's not really fun. And it's, again, speeding up your process and you'll make more money. There's a tremendous amount. I talk to guys all over the country. There's a tem tremendous amount of growth out there, opportunity for growth. So anything you can do to make, to maximize the efficiencies of your of your company will lead to you know more growth, which should lead to more profit. Um, and you you don't want to to leave that all on the table. I mean, it's even if you're determined that you just want to be a, a one pool guy. Well, now you know using all of these tools, if you can do more pools, um, you you know you'll make more money. Or if you don't even want to do more pools, you have more time to spend with your family and your friends. You know, these are all things that you should be striving for to work more efficient. Um, because at the end of the day, that's going to lead you to more money or just more time on your hands. Awesome. More freedom. Yeah. More freedom. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So for uh, Eric and Janelle, uh, how do you feel your products uh, with Piranha Pool products has uh, changed people's lives? Well, I'm going to have to uh, echo what's already been said. Um, I, it's we've had so many people over the years um, come up and thank us for just making a tool that was more efficient, uh, for a tool that lasted longer, 
uh, for something that uh, help with their carpal tunnel or their arthritis. Um, you know, if it if it if it makes their job easier, that's that's you know what's meaningful to us, and we hear it all the time, just like the others here have expressed with their products. Um, and so um, I'm hoping that we can all, not just us here at Piranha, but that all of us can continue to, to really make everybody's lives easier, make them all, make everybody more efficient in the industry because uh, our, our, all of our lives are in this industry and all of our friends really, if you think about how many people we know uh, across the country, uh, you know, we're all in this together here. So um, that's to me, what that's, that's been the best part, I think, is to hear that people really actually like Piranha products, and I know the others uh, here have heard the same thing, and for good reason. It's been so great having you guys on, and and just like hearing how all of you like are totally different products, but it all meshes together so well into the tools of the modern pool professional. It's really awesome to see how totally different products, different puzzle pieces have come together today talking to our listeners. I appreciate all everything you guys do out there for our industry. And I really appreciate the time that you've taken to talk to my listeners on the podcast today. I really appreciate it. Hey, Lauren, I've got a challenge for people listening to the podcast. Um, if you've listened to all the different groups, I think what you've got out of this is we're not selling you to, I don't think any of us are selling our product today. Uh, we're, you know, we're marketing it. We're trying to educate the market as far as what's available out there. But I do have a challenge. <clears throat> if you're using one of our products today, if you're using a Piranha Net and you're not using Riptide or Primate or Skimmer, I'm going to challenge you to, tr to go look up at least one of them. Which one of the other tools do you think will improve your life, improve your business, right? Don't think, oh, I got to use all four of these, you know, to get the effect. You don't. But I'm challenging you, if you're listening to this, to use one more, right? And at least go look it up. Learn more about it. I guarantee you, if you're not using a Piranha Net, number one, you probably, you're definitely old school. And um, you, you need to go to the Piranha Pool Tools website and watch Eric talk about his net. As old as we are. Yeah, you're <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's kind of the no-brainer, right? That's a and, stab at Matt there. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, some of us are newer in the industry, but yeah, if you're not using a Piranha Net, I'm just going to say you need to use a Piranha Net. Go ahead and just go get one. Okay. Get, get started with that. But if you haven't used a Riptide vacuum or we haven't used a carbon fiber pole, like a primate pole, right? And there's different types that they offer. Or if you haven't used Skimmer, what I'm challenging you to do is try one of those. I mean, even if it's just you know, uh, trying a new pool vacuum. I mean, if you're out there and using a hammerhead or any other version, um, it'll blow your mind to use a, a, a riptide vacuum. And what you'll realize is that, you know, as we've been saying, all of these tools not only make you look more professional, they enable you to, to deliver a more professional work product, um, but just check them out. All right, uh, just go research on our different websites and give us all a try. And what you're going to find is, is that you're going to become very addicted to this group. And the reason why is, is with each one you use, you get that an exponential lift, right? And everything changes, not only in your business, but in your life. That's why we're together, right? We're all doing well. We're all really successful companies and we're going to be even more successful working together like this, but really we it's, we're using this as to really raise the awareness to people to say, you know, I know you learned that from Lauren and she used aluminum pole and a really bad net and she used the uh, homeowner's pool vacuum and, you know, except, and she used pen and paper to run her business. And you can run a very profitable business doing that. I've seen many customers, they have amazing pen and paper systems, but using skimmer, it's 10 times easier and more productive. And it's the same way with a piranha net and a primate pole and a riptide pull vacuum. It's not a little bit better. It's 10 times better, right? And when you realize that and you experience it, everything is going to change. So if you're listening, you're saying, oh man, I'm too tired. I'm just going to keep doing things the way I've always done it. Well, if you keep doing things the way you've always done it, you'll keep getting the same results. And if you're saying to yourself, I want better results, you need to change today. If you're getting great results, you're leaving so much on the table. As Matt was saying, you can't even imagine. 
Because if you're getting great results today using pen and paper and tools that aren't Piranha, Primate, and Riptide and Skimmer, you can be twice or three times as profitable. 100%. Uh, and so just keep that in mind. It's like, well, I'm doing well. And I, I, have, I have people tell me that all the time. It's like, do you want to do well or you want to be outstanding? You know what the difference between well and outstanding is? Two millimeters of change in your life. And that's what we're asking you to consider. And uh, when you do that, we're, we're telling you that for your own benefit. We benefit as well. And as we benefit, we'll continue to innovate and make our products better. And that's the commitment of this group. And that's why this group got together is we're not only like-minded, we are going after like-minded customers that believe that. And so we really appreciate you having us on today. I'm honored to be on this with uh, the Reshes and Matt and uh, the Joes. I always call them the Joes, but Joe Sr. <laughs> and Joe Jr. at Primate. Yes. It's, it's unbelievable. You know, when I get up each day and, 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 you know, as Eric was saying, this is what we do to support ourselves. Right. And so you better enjoy it, especially as you get a little bit older in life. And what I'll tell you is, is I have such a strong passion for meeting with these customers. I can't wait to go to the trade show and meet with people. Right. I go back. Yeah, I'm not to the, the only office. one. <laughs> I go back to the office in Austin and I'm like, why am I here? This isn't, you know, I want to be out there and, and visiting with the customers and, and finding out what's going on. I really love it. And uh, that sounds weird, but it's true. And it's what Eric said earlier. They're amazing. They're hardworking, friendly, incredible people. They're actually a lot of fun to be around. And uh, I hate to think of people like that not using the right tools. And so, and you know, by, by the way, this is a great tool as well, your podcast. And uh, so thank you for allowing us to be on it and sharing our stories and, uh, and uh, we're all you know, taking time to do this. We're all really, really busy, but spreading this message and really getting this out into the market. And, uh, you know, the people that are listening right now, you know who you are, right? You, you've been trained in an old school way, or you're really modern thinking, or you're somewhere in the middle. Um, this is really going to be the game changer for you. And even if you don't use our products, start finding better products out there. Quit using the old school things, Right but we do have the best brands. We do. We are the most innovative and we're going to continue to do that, but do something better in your business. Um, because uh, if you're not saying to people, wow, that was a game changer for my business or wow, you really changed my life. If you're not calling a company, telling them that you're not using the right tools, because if you use Piranha Net, use a primate pull, use a Riptide pull vacuum or use skimmer pull service software, you're going to be calling us and telling us that because we put a lot into it and it is a game changer. It's the whole reason that we got into the business that we're in. So we look forward to you being a customer someday. And if you're thinking out there, I don't think I'll ever use those. Just know that you will be a customer of all of ours someday. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> because and we remember, we continue to make our products better and better all the time. And so if we're not good enough for you now, we will be in a few months and we will be in a few years uh, as we continue to listen to more and more customers and what they need. And that's, that's the fun of being in this industry and of being in a group like this is that's what we do. So and, thanks again. And listeners, don't be scared to change. Change can be a good thing. It can be scary sometimes, especially when you're a business owner, to make a change. But sometimes that change could be the best thing you ever did to change your life. And, and what you're doing, your job, which is your business, it matters for your family. It matters for you. And so the tools that you're using really is a big deal. So sometimes making that leap and that big change is scary, but go ahead and try it and see what, what it can do for you. So loved having you all on today. Thank you so much for being on the Let's Talk About Pools podcast. This is a really special episode today. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank, you, thank you, Lauren. Thank you, thank you so awesome. much. You guys have a great day. Thanks for diving in today with the Let's Talk About Pools podcast. Be sure to follow us on our YouTube channel or our Facebook page. And feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcast so more aquatic professionals like you can learn about the show. We appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next episode of the Let's Talk About Pools podcast.